Man, Pixel Sight is just wild. I can't believe there's been so much development literally in the past six months. I think more than there has been in the past couple of years. And that's pretty much saying something. So what we're going to talk about today is stretching. And I'm using this new uh, stretching stuff and a combination of old stuff because I still find it's the best. And we're using the tools by SETI Astro. Um, he's really done a lot for the community, I can tell, over the past couple months. And I've been playing around with his tools and became a channel member. So I definitely... Agree you know, recommend that you guys have a couple bucks to spare to throw him a couple bucks toward his membership for all he is doing for us and all that it looks like he is planning to do. So, man, really insane here. So, what's going on? And uh, by the way, this is Chad in the Easy Astro Images channel. You know, we're always trying to make things easy, and that's kind of what he is doing here. Is making life easy so what we're able to do is i mean i've literally locked knocked off like three or four versions of this pleiades in like 15 minutes here and i'm using a combination of a couple different of scripts of his as well as some of the stuff in pics insight so we're doing pics insight here so what we got is we got two pictures so i've already done the usual stuff on all this and all that crazy stuff so we've got our stars and we've got uh you know our nebula and all that stuff over there so i'm gonna get rid of this um in order to use his scripts one of the first things you need to do is make sure that your uh, backgrounds are neutralized and i haven't done any like color calibration or anything on these yet so i'm just going to drop background neutralization on each one of these so that way we can use the link stretched because in his video tutorials he recommends that you use the linked stretch um, option in there in order to stretch everything out for you so let's go ahead and do the nebula first because he's got his own star stretch script as well which works amazing so once you install all of the stuff you're going to go here to seti astro and we're going to do the statistical stretch and i love Love using this method combined with curves transformation versus something like GHS because you know as cool as GHS is you can really get into the weeds like real quick and you're trying to make these minute adjustments and things are bending all over the place and shit's going like white and black and everything else it just gets a little bit too insane for me this reminds me a lot of the old easy processing suite by dark archon just a lot better and really it's kind of a default thing and it gives you a great stretch right out of the box but you're definitely still going to have to do a little bit more so he's got a little bit of instructions up here for you um i'm going to shoot for just a, a 0.25 median we're just going to do one iteration if you want to try to squeak a couple extra out of it to gain a little bit more you can i haven't really seen a whole lot and i am going to curves transformation like i said but we'll just go ahead and throw a curves boost in here a pretty strong one um anyway and you can actually do this in a preview box here if you like using the small preview boxes that's the one thing about these scripts is you can't make these preview boxes any bigger maybe one of these days but i already know that i'm going to be happy with this so we are going to hit execute on that and that's going to go ahead and stretch our image and there it is right there and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into curves transformation and we're going to just do the old school method that i like to do which is just kind of having like some finite control so you know you're going to find like your dark stuff which is kind of like right down in here and you know we're going to put like a little pin just to the right of that so that way we try not to affect that kind of stuff as much and then we're just going to come over here and we're going to start just making little curve adjustments and what you want to do is just kind of keep working your way over just a little bit just a little bit at a time don't go too crazy keep an eye on everything you know sometimes you might want to just like double apply you know like if we apply this right now and we take a look at it again and see how it looks like i think that looks okay so we'll just go ahead and hit it again and then we'll reset the tool 
I'm gonna see where kind of this stuff here is so we can make sure that we're getting that. So I'm gonna put like a pin right here and then a pin right there. And again, we're gonna keep on pushing that a little bit. And if you notice my center now is starting to get a little bit blown out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pin like right here and a pin right here. And I'm just gonna pull up from the middle and just start pulling that out a little bit and just keeping an eye on everything, making sure that I'm not getting too crazy. Cause eventually we're gonna have to like get into masks and that kind of stuff, range mask, color masks, if we really wanna do like a crazy output on that. But for this video, we are just gonna leave it here and we're gonna say that that is our stretch. So really easy to do, really easy to control. So we're good with that. So now we have our stars that we need to do. So we're gonna go back to SETI Astro. We're gonna to go to Star Stretch. These settings default work just great. I've had no problems with them at all. Uh, put a little bit of a color boost in there uh, for my stars because I haven't done any saturation or anything yet. Click Execute and there are our stars. And then finally, Pixinsight has the toolbox combine images. And this is like heaven sent right here because this is something that we used to do in like Photoshop. And really well, all you're gonna do is you're gonna blend these images together. So we're gonna select our main, we're gonna select our stars, which is integration stars right here. And you're gonna see the preview refresh. It's gonna automatically add those in. That might not be the right one. Oh, that's actually, that's like the, the image and the stars. There we go, that's just the stars. And then what you can do from here is, you know, you can literally figure out what you want to do. Again, I wish there was a way to like make, oh, you can make this one bigger, nice. Okay, so I want my stars to be just a little bit smaller. So we'll go to like right there. Okay, that looks good. And then I want to see, I haven't really noticed this do a whole lot, but I wanna to try to just increase the vibrance, like the colors and everything, I guess. I don't really see it doing a whole lot. What happens if we crank our stars all the way up? Eh, I guess, don't really see much. And we'll put it like right here. So that looks good to me. And then it's literally rescreening and combining everything for us. It's freaking amazing. So then we just click the button. Now, boom, there's our image. Like, and I've, this is like the, again, like the seventh or eighth one I think I've done in like the past like half hour or so that I've been playing with this. So I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty freaking awesome and exciting. Again, I hope this helps some of you out. Show you guys how we're all never really, I don't think gonna get a perfect one button stretch, but Seti Astro is combining all kinds of things into his scripts to allow us to combine other actions and scripts and processes inside of his individual scripts, things like Noise Exterminator, Blur Exterminator, and all that kind of stuff. So the next six months should be pretty interesting if we have people like him, and Bill Blanchett, all these other guys out there pushing the envelope and giving us the products that we all are just begging for. So good on you guys. Thanks, City Astro. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a good one. Peace.